Nyemban hi guys and welcome. Nyemban here with a video about a recent snapshot 17w13 a released by Mojang. Oh yes, Nyemban and Mojang. In this video I will explain briefly why running your world in a recent snapshot, especially if you are reside close to a jungle, might not be the best idea. So I have been, you know me, trying to suss out the utility of the new parrots as farmable mobs. They seem to drop insignificant amount of XP and feathers as a drop, which renders them pretty much useless, but still I was curious what kind of spawning mechanics they are using. So my first guess was that they are passive mobs, which would spawn on grass and in an nicely lit area within the jungle biome. And indeed, that seems to be the case. However, all passive mobs should be spawning in attempts every 20 seconds, and they seem to be spawning much quicker than other passive mobs. So if we stay longer we would notice several things happening. We got tons of pirates, no other passive mobs to spawn except for those few that spawned at the beginning. Ok, so maybe they count towards hostile mobs like Ocelot, but that would not explain why other passive mobs are not spawning. So we have a little bit of a pirate of explosion, because as we can see, even if we move away from this point, the number still raises. And even if we move away and come back, they simply don't despawn, like passive mobs. So they are passive mobs. Are they bound with any mob cap then? Clearly not by a passive one. Let's clear everything and spawn a bunch of creepers, 90 to be exact. Filling the hostile mob cap this way and move 24 blocks away from the platform. As you can see, Paros no longer can spawn. So to summarize, Paros are passive mobs that take up mob cap for passive animals. However, they spawn in the same time along with hostile mobs. This is why it's very dangerous, because it doesn't bind their mob cap to the same group of mobs they spawn with. So what if you have a base in a jungle biome and stay in this place for some time? And every time the total number of hostile mobs fall below the hostile mob cap, which happens from time to time, a few new pirates can spawn and spawn permanently, without any control. And their number will be growing indefinitely until the world we play in crashes forever from the sheer number of entities. How long it gonna take? I don't know, 2-3 hours, maybe a day of AFK, doesn't matter, as it will happen at some point anyways. Let's do one more test. Super flat world, to speed up mob spawning by 6 times comparing to a regular world, the only hostile mobs to help us combat parrot infestation would be slimes. Also large amount of unobstructed grass comparing to regular jungles should speed up the process. All of it doesn't change the process, it just speeds it up comparing to a regular world. Ok, so we clearly have a problem, how to fix it? First of all, don't mix spawning of mobs of different mob classes together and then let parrots be responsible for the mob cap of their own class. They should be passive, except people with old worlds with spawn chunks not conditioned for passive mob spawning will not get them unless they generate new chunks. But well, nobody complained about that with bears and llamas. Or if we really want to have parrots spawn in already generated chunks, make them hostile like ocelots, which spawn in daylight, on grass, and don't attack a player, but count as a hostile mob, and also count towards the hostile mob cap, and what's more important, they despawn. Let untamed parrots despawn as well, unless we want to have a very simple hostile mob switch, which I wouldn't mind as well. Anyhow, for now we have a parrot infestation, which will eventually cause your existing worlds to crash. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe and don't forget to upvote this bug in the bug tracker, link in the description, unless you really like your worlds to crash. See you in the next one, bye bye. Thank you.